What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the White Strikes Mayhem event here in the Elder Scrolls Online, which begins on Thursday, May the 11th and runs until Tuesday, May the 23rd. To participate in the event, all you have to do is, of course, visit the Crown Store and acquire the details on the White Strikes Mayhem quest. Travel to your Alliance War Faction's main gate in Cyrodiil. And then, of course, you can talk to the NPC there, complete the quest, and receive your scroll and your first boon box. Now, if you have done this quest in previous years, you do not need to do it again. Of course, you can use that scroll for a two-hour 100% XP buff in things like Alliance War, Imperial City, and Battlegrounds. If you are new to the game, this is a PvP-only event, so you only get that 100% XP buff in PvP activities. In addition to things like alliance points, XP gains for player kills, you also get a 100% boost to Tevlar Stones gained throughout the course of White Strikes Mayhem. You can use the uh, scroll throughout the event. If for whatever reason the scroll is lost or destroyed, you can travel back to that NPC and get the scroll again. And just remember, this is not a memento like some of the other events. This scroll will actually be an inventory item. So if you're looking for it, if it's your first time participating in the event, the scroll will be in your inventory. We do have some uh, new things you can get during this event. Uh, the Gloom's Edge armor style and, of course, the armor style we've had in the past, the Dufort uh, outfit style. So those will be available during the event along with some other things. You will gain boon boxes as you compete against uh, things in Cyrodiil or Battlegrounds or Imperial City. You will gain these boon boxes. Uh, and your re regular rewards for the worthy and your PvP daily quest rewards. You also can receive boxes from participating in things like battleground, uh, battleground quest, excuse me, scouting, battle, warfront, and conquest missions, Elder Scrolls capture and recapture quest, town quest in Bruma, Cropsford, Velastris, and so on. Of course, Imperial City daily quest. And within the boon boxes, you have a chance to receive things like Teflar stones. Uh, repair kits for Cyrodiil, soul gems, a guaranteed drop of one of the following uh, alchemy ingredients, a style item for your alliance, a style item from the Akavari armor style, a Daedric siege weapon, white strikes mayhem book furnishings, a forward camp for your alliance, a chapter of your alliance's armor motif. There's a small chance that the full book may drop instead of a single chapter. Prismatic Runestones, a chapter of the Akavari armor motif, or very rarely the full book. Also the fragment of the Alliance Breton Terrier Pet. This is a small chance to discover two fragments instead of one. Transmute Geodes and Tools for Weapon uh, of Domination Weapon Style Pages. Also bonus resources and the Golden Players making use of harvesting nodes during White Strikes Mayhem. So if you're in Cyrodiil, you can harvest nodes. You will get extra resources, and additionally, the Cyrodiil Merchant, the Golden, will update her shop stock to con uh, contain jewelry from Cyrodiil item sets in 160 CP legendary quality, and will offer valuable necklaces during the first week and rings during the second. So you will see tons of uh, rings and necklaces during these weekends. So if you go to the Golden uh, on that particular weekend, so the first weekend, you will get those uh, necklaces and those rare rings during the second. So if there's some of those rings or necklaces you have not gotten yet, this is a great time to do it. During the event, you can also earn up to three event tickets each day by completing two different PvP activities. Two event tickets from the first Cyrodiil or Battleground Daily Quest, which is repeatable, and one event ticket from the District Daily Quest within Imperial City. And these are pretty easy to do. You can go in and uh, if you're not a big PvP fan anyway, you can go in Imperial City and get that done quickly. And also, you can do some of the uh, Cyrodiil quests from the board that are pretty easy to do. Uh, those can things can be like bounty board quest, town daily quest, the conquest board quest, or the daily battleground quest. So those are going to be pretty easy tickets to get every day. And this means by the end of the event, you could accumulate a a total amount of 39 tickets. Once you've collected enough tickets, head over to the event merchant. Of course, our normal event merchant that we have, we'll have all three uh, Passion Dancer Blossom Pet fragments available, all three Passion Muse personality fragments available, the first two Meadow Breeze memory skin fragments available, a bag of Veteran Glory containing one guaranteed drop of previous White Strikes or Mid-Year Mayhem rewards, 
So there's a lot of different things available there that have been in the game over the year, like the Black Drake style pages, Second Legion, Legion Zero, and so on. So if you do not have some of those, you can get that from that bag of Veterans Glory. Also, group repair kits and companion guild commendations for the Fighters Guild, Mages Guild, and Undaunted for your companions. Finally, uh, the of course, the event vendor colleague has the following available gear, which that colleague's there now all the time with things like Endric Feathers, uh, also uh, the sh Shimmering Endric Pet, Endric Berries, and of course, uh, things that have been in previous events if you've never had those Endrics or you're looking for those Endric Pets. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you'll be participating in this year's, I always say mid-year mayhem, but it has been changed to that uh, white, uh, white strikes mayhem. But it's a pretty fun event if you're a PvP fan. If you're a PvE player only, you can still get some good things from this, even if you're not a huge fan of PvP. But you can hop in, especially in Cyrodiil, and find a group to run around with and, and have a really good time. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.